How's it going everyone? Tech here. and Today I've got another quick besiege tutorial for everybody. You guys liked the other one and I was trying to figure out a way to really add content to the community because, you know, besiege, a lot of people are doing it. So I'm just, not, I'm not going to be pumping out videos like this every day, but I wanted to show you probably, in my opinion, the best suspension you can have on a driving vehicle. Right now, this isn't it. If you clicked on this video and you think, oh yeah, this is what I want to do, don't do this because it doesn't... I mean, it kind of works, but it, it, it works in the opposite way that um, I, want, I, I, I wanted a vehicle to go. So right now we've got uh, six wheels, six suspensions, uh, and they're all technically independent. But you, go, you see you go up this hill, and then up, up the front wheels are sort of off the ground, and it sort of pulls, and, and we're sort of teetering if we really try, and, and still we're losing traction. Basically, we're losing traction, and that's a really big problem. So instead, what you want to do is get rid of all of this, and I'll make this guy a turning vehicle as well, if you guys don't know how to do that. So this will be a suspension and turning tutorial for the best uh, multi-axled vehicles in Besiege. So right now we have the basics of it. What you want to do is you want to go to mechanical, and you want to grab this slider. The slider is new. The slider just recently came out in an update, so you're going to want to... Grab that. Let's zoom in a little bit. We want to place it here. We want to make sure that the flat side is facing outward. And there are no parameters to edit, so this is just going to be super simple, easy, at least as the making of this video and this update. There are no parameters. And before I make this guy a turning vehicle, now you will see the, the easiest. It's so easy, and it takes up less space because the suspension isn't as low. You do have this jump up and down, but... You know, I, I kind of like that. Oh, and there, a <laughs> chicken just blew up. So now when you go up, you see that now every single wheel is touching the ground. So I could just stop here. I could reverse back. I could hop, hop back in. And so I have full traction. It's almost like tank controls, except we don't really have tracks. Um, and, and this is a brilliant platform for you to build anything on. You can build war machines on. You can use this as a way to uh, have a plane take off, especially considering that when you go forward, it lifts the nose. Um, you could also do that with pistons, but you know this is more fun. So let's turn this into a turning vehicle, and I can show you another practical uh, use for it, which is killing uh, guys over here. Uh, you know, basic units without using any weapons. Let's just mark myself here. Let's flip these wheels around. So to make a vehicle turn, if you don't already know, is you flip the front wheels around and you add normal wheels around the edges. Now, there is a bug that I'm going to show you guys uh, and how this works. And I don't know why this is a bug, but Besiege is weird. So on the inner wheels, what you want to do is on the right-hand side, you want to set your forward to the key that you want to turn right. So in this case, I'm going to set it to J and then the reverse to the left, which would I want to be L. And we're just going to copy that and paste it on that wheel and that wheel, all the wheels on the same side. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the exact opposite. So for for the for when we want to turn right, we set it to the button for left. And then same thing with the reverse, set it to the button you want to go right. We'll copy that and then paste that there and paste that there. And then just for ease, let's set it here and here. Now, did you see that? You see how the wheel speed went down to zero? I don't know why it does that. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if it's because I'm hitting I or K or something like that, but it's doing it. It's not even moving the slider. So we're just gonna copy this and then, it was on that one, okay. And just paste that on all of the others on the outside. And now we have a fully independently suspended turning vehicle that only used how many parts did we use so far so right now we have the base for any vehicle you can make this longer 29 parts we didn't even add any braces you you can the crazy thing is you can add braces across this whole thing and it'll still stay perfectly still you're not going to be bouncing around a whole lot oh hold on let's focus there and now when you charge the enemy here all that's going to happen is your wheels are just going to go under you're not going to have any stress on your axles you're not going to be putting any pressure on your frame, and it's just going to be sweet, easy killing. Now, think if you put blades on this thing. 
this this is the perfect vehicle to run stuff over with because you're never going to break an axle because that's just been those uh, those sliders have a lot of travel to the point where let's see if I can get this to do this to the point where oh I messed up and usually this would break a uh, break a vehicle but no mind you when it flips it on its side you're pretty much out of luck but <laughs> that is besides the point I think that this is probably one of the best frames that you can build for a moving vehicle. Put this on your flying machines. Put this on your big war machines. It's a stable, sturdy, strong way to get something in Besiege moving. Anyway, if you want to see me do more things in Besiege, if you have any ideas that you can't really wrap your head around or you want me to try out any builds that people have tried out, let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter at Takedo underscore. Link in the description. If you like this video, make sure to like the video to show me that you love me. That didn't work out. I'm sorry about that. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe for more Besiege content. Like I said in the beginning, I'm trying to make sure that the content that I bring to you in Besiege is quality content. So I'm just not, not going to be churning these out every day. But when you see a video about Besiege, you know you might be learning something cool. Anyway, this has been Tech playing Besiege. And I'll see you next time.